AA2 to step it down a board, your online coach and fitness. And I just want to say this, you know, I'm just doing some blocking and striking up and down the mat in my grandma's basement. Basement where I have my gym at. So basically, you know, I'm just, you know, working on some blocking, striking, um, blocking, you know, the hands. Um, I hadn't, I hadn't really done any kicking with it. Um, usually when I just do blocking, um, combination, blocking drills, whatever combinations, whatever you want to do, um, usually I'm just using the hands, I'm not really using any feet, um, that much, um, I can use feet, but usually when you try to use, do a block and a kick, usually sometimes, uh, it kind of throws you off balance a little bit when, when you're doing it so when I usually what I do um, when I do drills usually I just use my hands um, when practicing the blocking and striking um, basically the blocking and striking is for when the opponent comes at you and you block their attack and you counter with your hands um, basically it's for like close quarters combat um, these drills are that I'm doing. Um, the knife hand, double knife hand, ain't really much of a block. Um, cause I really, I mean, it can be used as a block. Um, but it's like I try not to use it as a block because, uh, um, you know, you can use it as like a fighting stance, maybe. You know, but that is kind of just throws it off out there that hey you know martial arts when you do that type of um, hand precision um, but other than that I mean you know are they good drills to do you know if you're wanting to you know learn something different you know learn something new um, into your training into your um, way of fitness um, these drills will help you to okay if somebody would attack me in any any way with their hands, I would know what to do. I, I would know how to block. I would know how to you know strike. I would have know how to um, counter. And uh, that's what the in the footwork. That's the reason why you see me doing like forward the uh, forward stance front stance, um, which is called the forward stance in some styles, or the half meaning in kung fu. Um, the back stance, um, which is called in some styles the L stance. Um, the horse stance, sometimes I might do that in some of my training videos that you see. Um, basically, I just uh, train in um, my own way of striking and blocking. Um, I really don't have a system. It's just been what I've been taught over the years. Um, I, I just keep up with it. And um, yeah, is it all basic uh, drilling? Yeah, I mean, that's what the how any fighter goes to get good is do but the basics. Um, that's how Japanese experts overseas. Um, most of the Japanese experts, the Japanese old senseis overseas they don't practice really much anything fancy they just do like especially the ones that are like up in their 80s you know in 90s i mean you don't hardly see them doing like air, aerial kicks or uh jumping roundhouses um or a jump spin back kick you know on anybody i mean you barely hardly see that but you, you know they could probably do it, you know, if they, you know, really wanted to. But you really technically, when it comes down to it, they stay with the basics. Because that's what gets them by. That's what gets them in shape. Um, that's the reason why you see in all these more karate books. You know, yeah, in, in karate books, you know, they might show you, you know, okay, when you get advanced, when, if you're young, if you can do these if you don't have no back problems or if you don't have no feet problems then they say if you can do these do these 
you know, advanced techniques like the jump around house or the uh, jump flying sidekick. Um, when I was doing Taekwondo, um, my newest kick was the jumping around house. And I made that kick lethal into my into my train at the time. And the only reason why I, I uh, used the roundhouse kick because I seen Sony Chiba did it in Street Fighter and on, in a fight scene with one of the Japanese masters and against one of the Japanese fighters and I was just, I was just so amazed on how well he did that and executed it and I was just like okay how can I learn that kick so I watched this video over and over and over on how, how he did it and so when I now practice it almost about like three times a week you know just to get good at it and then when I started doing my sparring I would start utilizing it in sparring and then but I hadn't practiced it since then but when I was younger more younger than what I am now I probably still can do it but I kind of have like a bad foot but not really a bad foot but kind of like a bad foot in a way I just don't really want to end up injuring it um, but other than that I mean I still can do it maybe but it might be sloppy but I mean I can still do it it's just that it might not have a whole lot of air air time into it um, but you know I can still nail the kick if I have to um, but other than that Other than that, basically, you know, just do these blocking techniques, you know, striking, um, up and back and down the floor. I tell you what, you'll get a good workout, you'll get a good sweat on, you'll get a good pump in. And, I mean, if you're not into weightlifting or cardio, um, check out my martial art videos um, that I have online here on my channel. Uh, and, you know, just watch it. Yeah, they may be sometimes some of the same things that I've already practiced from previous of my other videos. But even if what everybody else does on YouTube, they make they just make the same video about the same thing over and over and over and um, same topic over and over and over and and stuff like that, and they get the views. So it's like that's what I'm doing. So. Um, basically, you know, I'm still trying to learn different things, you know, on my own as well. I mean, I'm not really, I'm not really too, you know, fond on learning something different, something new when I don't understand it on how it's done. Uh, if I don't understand on how it's done, I will not film it. Because if I'm still learning it, I am, I am going to film my learning progress on it. Um, most people say, oh, you gotta film it, you know, you gotta film it, please film it, you know, I wanna see what you're learning, and, you know, post it online, um, well, me, I'm not about that, because then they'll see my trial and error, and everything else, and, um, I really don't want them to see that, you know, me, it's like, I like to see myself mastering the technique, and then then trying to do it on video if I can so uh, there you have it folks uh, I'm 704 um, please hit the like and subscribe as most youtubers do and like I said hit that bell notification get every one of my videos and like I said just practice the basics um, there was a movie out there on martial arts it's called martial art masters um with jet lee in it um it had the shaolin monk um master in the video jet lee got mad because he was practicing basic technique over and over and over and over he wanted to learn anything in advance well, what I learned from that movie was when I was doing martial arts at the time was 
from that master in the movie was, you know, you must master the basics before you can master anything else. So, there you have it. Please hit the like, subscribe. I'm Sunday Donna 4, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.